Was I really wrong about this guy, Asmogold? I mean, he's a nice guy. Yeah, I'm the bad dude, obviously. I mean, nothing wrong. All he does is sits in his spot, streams live, watches other people's stuff, and uh, yeah, reacts to it. I don't know how much of reaction he does, but yeah, like all day he just pretty much. That's beast, man. That's beast. It's a, such a hard job. I believe one in one instance, like when was that? When Hassan Abi, both of them, Hassan plus him, Hassan Piker, and then this dude, they said that streaming is such a soul sucking job. Such a soul sucking job, yet they just keep coming back to it. And they, you know, Twitch sucks so much, but yet keep coming back to it. Like, you know, I don't know why. But, anyways, he looks like a very nice guy, man. He cleaned up his room, just came back. Twitch streamer asked Michael contact by FBI. He was recently threatened, so called, by one of the strangers, but he decided not to file charges, man. That is beauty, man. That's kudos. How many streamers do you know who do that? Like, do you really think. Uh, Hassan would do that. Do you really think um, Penguin or even um, what's the other guy's name? Not not guys, a girl. The Sniper Wolf. Yeah. The Metal Gear Solid lady. Twist streamer Osmogol contacted by FBI earlier this year. Recently revealed that he was contacted by the FBI over an incident where it seemed that a fellow streamer had put a bounty on his head. Asmogold is one of Twist's most popular and controversial streamer. In October, Osmogol was banned from Twitch for two weeks after making offensive statements about Palestinians. So he decided to go clean up his room for two weeks. Okay. Yeah, it's not there. Just I had to add some. In the aftermath of the incident, Asmogol stepped away from OTK and other companies where he held leadership positions. Asmogol has since returned to Twitch and has issued an apology. He said that his viewers deserve more than what he said during the stream and promised to do better. Now, ladies and gents... First of all, when I did a video and I said, yeah, Osmogol was wrong, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I can always agree and disagree with certain streamers. That's totally fine. Just because I was, I disagree with that point of view doesn't mean he becomes this evil person in my eyes. No, I, this guy is still legit. He's doing his stream. He's fine. He has a huge following. People still support him. And not only that, he didn't say he took a stand and like, yeah, I'm backing out for a few weeks. I'm coming back, but I still believe what I just said. No, he didn't say that. You know what's the sad part? He's some of the followers, so-called. There's a cult-like following. Some of the followers. Yeah, man, yeah, you were right. I su I'll support you, believe you, blah, blah, blah. You should take a stand. But he just backed out. He's not even interested. He said he's sorry. He apologizes. Then why are you guys, like, taunting? I know there are some Gaza haters and some gen, gen lovers, general lovers or whatever, right? They enjoy, you know, some people getting bombarded and whatnot. And there are some cult-like followings out there, man. But when he said, hey, man, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. My following and my people audience deserve a lot more. What's wrong with that? Okay, so that's why I said I applaud this. I do applaud. And if he took, still took a stand, like, no, I hate these people. This I'm a sadistic, whatever. Oh, yeah, then I wouldn't even, you know, <laughs> simple as that. Anyway, but I don't know why he stepped out of OTK and other companies. You made a mistake. Fine, man. You don't have to, like, do so much just to show, yeah, you're the messiah, whatever. Anyways, Osmogol has since returned to Twitch. Issued an apology, deserves more, and I, I agree. Since returning to Twitch, Asmogol had has streamed the newly released Dragon Age, the uh, Veilguard, and has provided commentary on various goings on in the world. In a recent stream, Asmogol was asked by a viewer about an incident from earlier this year where fellow streamer Denims was accused of putting a 30,000 bounty on him, yet somehow didn't get banned from Twitch. Asmogol explained that he was actually contacted with FBI about the incident, but he chose not to pursue any charges because she was joking around. Oh, it's a fee, she Female? I mean, female. Or she -mail. It's a female. And that, after re-watching the clip, she clearly was not talking about me. The clip is there, alright? But I just don't want to play it. It's not just playing in the browser for whatever reason, but anyway. While Denims was apparently not banned for the particular incident, the streamer is currently banned on Twitch for something else entirely at the time of this writing. Twitch banned Denims and a handful of other streamers for hateful conduct. It's believed that the bans came about due to a TwitchCon panel where Denims and the other participants were accused of by being anti-Semitic. Again. And I agree, okay? Twitch has these weird rules. You, they can just ban you for whatever reasons. This is the reality that rules, the TOS, everything changes based on whatever randomly, man. It's so weird. Hateful, okay. You threaten someone, put a bounty, yeah, you can get away with it sometimes. It's a very gray area, all right? And I've seen this over and over again, not only on Twitch, pretty much in real life. The whole law system, the law, is literally in gray area. 
you can scam, 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 and get away with so much crypto stuff and this and that. But yet you get, get, get caught by stealing something from a wrong person you should never have, who has power and whatnot, then you just end up in prison for the rest of your life. Imagine that. However, it's entirely possible that the bans are... Anyway, I don't want to go through too deep. Twitch has promised to be more transparent about bans. All right, let's really hope they evolve, okay? They learn from all this thing. And people learn. Osmo Gold, if you really watch, it's not like me who called him, uh, called him out or whatever. I'm just saying, I watched him for quite some time, and I'm like, dude, you're just putting one, two sentences middle of like one hour video, two hour video. Your videos are long, I get it. But the point is that you barely do say anything. But now it seems like he changed a little. I mean, he actually gives a lot of inputs. So people can change, man. I mean, dude, give him a freaking mic and nothing else. No TV, no screenshot, nothing. Let's see how much he can talk about the whole situation in life and whatnot. I'm not saying I'm the best or he's the best, who's the best. I'm just seeing, I'm asking a legit question. Not everybody can do that. Hassan probably can. Like, that guy's a commentary, like, on political stuff. You give him a mic, this guy's gonna, you know, yap, 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 whatever. Not everybody can do that. Mr. Beast cannot. The dude needs a script. All right? You ask him about crypto, pumping down, this and that, he can't say anything. He needs a script. So that's why I said not everybody's voice critical. He probably doesn't. He doesn't need a script. Give him a topic, he probably can rant. Not all topic. If you remember him and Sneeko's debate, what happened? He took a L, bro. So, yeah, credit needs to give in where it's due. Not, yeah, I have to support him even if he loses, if he does this, if he does wrong or whatever. No. And by the way, before I end this, let me assume this video sh will get one of the most dislikes. And please, don't prove me wrong. Don't prove me wrong. I want to be right on this. Just give me as many dislikes as you can. If you really feel like from inside. Don't hold it back. All right? Please don't hold it back. It takes a toll on your health and mental and all the stuff. Please don't hold it back. Take it in the comments and in the like section and whatnot. No issues. I got you. I got you, sir. And yeah, that's about it. And just keep it a little bit PG-13 because it's not me. YouTube might take it down. I won't. I promise. And yeah, Osmo, good job, man. Good job. Nothing wrong. I actually watched uh, one of his part of the Dragon Age. But then Dragon Age, the whole rating is pathetic. So I thought, you know what? Nah, I I'll play other games. It just, a new game comes out, everybody starts going on it. And I only play because I enjoy it. I don't think I can take off like them. At least not now, in the gaming, whatever. This guy already has a leverage, an edge, way ahead of me. And most of the other streamers, like Tiny. Okay, I'm still very grateful that I'm in 1,000 whatever plus. How many people are in that position? Not many, man. Do you even know how many streamers actually make it? Or how many YouTubers actually make it? It's wild. So I have zero complaints, man. Again, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and expect a lot more videos. I do randomly impromptu. I don't have a schedule. It can be middle of the night when I just feel like I'm asleep. I wake up and I just give you whatever I can. That's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next vid.